Hey everybody, welcome into the shop and it's Ralph Chuchin on a Monday afternoon, something a little different today. You know, I've been hinting at a, well, probably is going to be the biggest project I've undertaken in the realm of electronics and audio and it's building the Raphael light tube amplifier here and I'm going to uh, pull the box up here a minute we're going to open it up there's a heck of a story a time ago an audiophile friend of mine well probably th three years ago ordered a amplifier kit from China and yes there's still people that enjoy building their own electronic gear amplifiers tuners things like that well, he got it, the big package weighed about 70 pounds, and you know what? He didn't have any instructions at all on how to assemble it. Most of these are purchased, already built and put together from China, and they're shipped into the United States. And you know what? They really sound great, but he was at a loss as to what to do. He thought it was going to be like a step-by-step -step, one of the step uh, instruction books, like one of the old heat kit <laughs> units, if anybody remembers them. So it's a big, big box. And, oh, brother, oh, 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 it is bigger than I am. <laughs> So let's uh, let's open it up and uh, take a first look. Of course, a lot of that weight is the power transformers, and the also the speaker output uh, transformers. So probably shouldn't have worn uh, white today, but uh, let's open it up and see what we got inside. Using the uh, new Panasonic Lumix LX10, the latest and the greatest here this uh, unboxing I want to be awful careful here because I've got that very expensive tubes what they call the 300 B output put tubes and even though they're made in China the quality is supposed to be excellent of them but they're costly they cost a lot of money and I got to be careful because I'm I'm kind of uh, renowned as a butterfinger, so one thing that I'm liking here is this box within a box, like this. Pull down the side here, right here. Okay, so we do have a box within a box for more safety and security, which I like. But it's a uh, bitch to open. So, let's see, so I'm going to turn off the camera, finish the rest of this unboxing, and uh, well, we're going to get into the deep end of the pool. It looks like we have uh, two different boxes here, so are you, uh, are you excited? Yeah, I yeah. am. Yep, we got box within a box, and unless I miss my guess, the tubes would be in here. It's a much lighter box, and I have to say I'm impressed with the packaging uh, on here. Nothing cheap about that. And I'm guessing in here is going to be the heavy transformers. So I kind of want to be uh, a little gentle with them. Yeah, this thing is really put together here. So snap that baby. And we'll deal with that trash later. Are you excited? You like box opening? This is, uh, this is the greatest box opening of all time. This is a hell of an expensive unit here. All right, and there it is. There it is. And boy, it is really beautifully boxed. I'll give you a view down there. Right, look at this, the way they've got that uh, foam on there. Isn't that beautiful? That's the chassis down there. You can kind of get a peek at the big transformers on there, the big huge output uh, transformers this is a 35 watt it doesn't seem like much in today's world but 35 watts is, in tube world was absolutely huge so gonna have to figure out how to uh, carefully lift this out and get it out of the box but let's open the other one too and all right see all right got. I cheated I couldn't resist taking a closer uh, closer look at it but look at how beautiful that chassis is Got the two big, uh, beautiful speaker output transformers. We probably got some kind of choke here. 
And we got one very powerful and one very large power supply here for the unit. Uh, yeah, this is going to be, uh, this is, this is the deep end of the pool here, guys, in terms of, uh, audio and do it yourself. And I can already see down at the bottom here, I can see all the parts in here that have been well packaged within the inside of the, uh, unit. And that's, uh, that's the biggest amplifier I'll probably ever own right there and that's the guts of it if you want to know what makes a beautiful amplifier it's all here in these speaker outputs these two babies right here very broad range frequency got great alignment on the iron all the uh, iron core for this all properly gaussed for magnetism and everything else so yeah this is nice Okay, let's get the other box open. Like I suspected in the other uh, box, I think all the tubes are safely packaged and inside of here. And you have some basic uh, schematic here. We're going to open that up and take a look at it to see if all is lost. But this is the, uh, this is the protective cage that goes over the top to prevent people from touching the uh, hot tubes. So, as far as uh, packaging is concerned so far, i got to give these guys uh, A++. I mean, look at how beautifully packaged. Of course, this is a very expensive. This is a you know, $700 uh, unit here, so these things aren't cheap. But look at how beautifully they assembled. I think I'll keep this box in case I'm shipping. Keep these ends in case I'm shipping out a uh, uh, repaired piece of audio equipment. So... All right, I think uh, lastly we'll take a little peek at the uh, instruction book here and see how deep the water Got that is. Out. Let's take a look here. Oh yeah, baby. Wan Ying, Zerga Amplifier 300B2A3, the finest in audio equipment. We are sure you will find this meets your specifications for great audio listening. Oh yeah. So, let's see, we've got the uh, outputs, 10 to 20 kilohertz. It's not bad. Some of the, rec rec uh, some of the uh, 22 kilograms is about almost 50 pounds here. So the uh, power different uh, outputs for 4 ohm, uh, 8 ohm. And this is the... Uh, this is, let me make sure, yeah, this looks like the 120 volt uh, version, so. How's your Chinese reading skills, huh? Pretty good? No wonder we freaked out, huh? Be a job and a half. Now you know why he didn't even bother opening it. So there we go. The Raphaelite CSK 30 water right here. <laughs> well, I wasn't kidding you, was I, guys? We've definitely got our work cut out for us on this uh, mission. Now you may be wondering, okay, if it's all said and when it's all said and done, and if you manage to get this beast put together, Rosie, what does this cap what is this unit capable of doing? And I thought I would leave it today, give you a, a little ending sample of one of these uh, units that was factory built and purchased uh, purchased by somebody. 
a year or so ago and you really may enjoy the uh, sound of it but we have so far to go <laughs> between here and what you're going to listen to at the end here have a wonderful day and uh, little by little I think we'll uh, maybe make some progress and uh, see if we can get this beautiful tube amplifier put together. Thanks so much for being along today.